competitive regional has been right here in Columbia, South Carolina, where after a little bit of rain, there are two teams remaining on the road to Omaha, and they are both from the Commonwealth of Virginia. The one seed Old Dominion is in the midst of magic, and they are unbeaten so far here in this regional. And O'Connor, Zach Geloff, and Jake Geloff have hit throughout. We've talked about them a bunch, but Kyle Teal has been terrific, Gabby Sanchez. Oh, uh, he has been great. Led the team this whole entire year and doing it again. Six for 13 in the tournament. Two yeah, Gertner, he's got a fastball. It's 84 to 86. He's not overpowering, but what he does is he hits the corners. It's about the style and the low velo and the pitchability. That's the word Chris Finwood used when discussing Gertner. Bouncing ball kicks past the second baseman, Carter Trice, in the shift. And Zach Geloff's aboard for Virginia to start the ball game. A guy, Gabby, and he's got a big pitch coming up here to Teal with a man at second in the first on the 3 2. And hard back up the middle into center. Wheeler comes up with it. And Virginia takes the lead in the first. More early offense from Virginia. Ortiz stings one into the gap in right center. Teal is off and running as Wheeler cuts it off. Teal gets stopped at third. And it's second and third for Virginia with one down in the first. So two aboard now for Nick Kent. And the shortstop goes first pitch swinging. Lofts it to left. Teal ready to tag. Kyle Battle makes the catch for out number two. And it's 2-0 Cavaliers. Where the Superman dive to boot and some fire from Teal. 2-0 hole already for Old Dominion coming up for the first time here in the bottom of the first inning after getting the win yesterday over South Carolina, a game in which Matt Kootenay had a big old blast. They're going up against Griff McGarry, the senior right-hander from California, who is making his ninth start of the season. But in the 46 days leading into tonight's game, he's thrown two innings because of command issues. Punch. 2-2. Two, two. Yeah. All gas, no breaks from McGarry out of the gates. 1-2. Yeah. Lavari strikes out 99 and a strut to boot. Team, you're looking at a guy who's pumping 97-98. Yeah. Oh, 99. 99. Two innings in the last 46 days. Momentum right now. Uh, it, it's real huge. Uh, you look at the numbers and the stat lines, it shows you 33 base on balls packed with these swings. Let the pitcher supply the power. Another strikeout. 99 on the scoreboard gun. He can do that. Then he can come in with the fastball that he's already shown he can do. Ortiz slugs one to deep left, battles back, it's gone! A four-run lead in the third for Virginia. Yeah, this ball just out over the plate for Devin Ortiz, and he does not miss it. That is his seventh home run of the season, and it is a Big one. Here's a fastball. It's out over the plate and up. And that is not where you want to live if you're Tommy Gertner. This ball gets hit deep to left field. Virginia here in this regional combined. The other three teams have hit four. That's a strikeout for Gertner, going up the ladder to fan Jake Geloff and end the inning, but two runs for Virginia in the third. Came up swinging, now behind, nothing in two, and he strikes out. Just one strikeout this inning for Griff McGarry. This is pulled into right field and off the end of the bat drops in for a hit. One out single for Chris Newell in the fourth. Well, they've got another guy who's been in their four-man weekend rotation. Nick Pantos will come on after Chris Finwood takes the baseball from Tommy Gertner. 
Runner takes off and the throw does not beat Newell. Newell went into Trice. On the ground and past Bell. Battle comes up with it. The throw to the plate is up the line and it's 5-0 Cavaliers. Old Dominion's got two, three, and four. Remember, second time through the order against Griff McGarry, who had a long delay there, waiting out the top of the fourth inning through the pitching change. And now Lavari lifts one. Left center field. That is back and gone. There is life for Old Dominion in the fourth inning. Right on cue. I mean, you knew it was coming. That's why you were asking for it. You wanted the home run. LaVarie says, I'm going to give it to you. Gets a fastball out over the plate. All of a sudden, that velocity that was 99 is now 94. And he crushes this ball to left field. And now Old Dominion is on the board. And all of a sudden, now you're going to see, OK, can they put something together in this inning to get back into this game? to back Jacks. They sure can. The fighting Jay Harris's are on the comeback trail in the fourth. You know what I loved about this at bat? And it was something that I picked up. It was something that was small. Probably not many people saw it. Trice actually chokes up on the bat. Says, you know what? I know that a fastball is going to come. He's been throwing it, and it's been thrown by me. I'm going to choke up on the bat, be quicker to the zone. And that's exactly what he did. He let the pitcher supply the power. Four-pitch walk to Matt Kootenay. Oh, and now it's a 3-0 count. Pressure is mounting. Three walks in a row to load it. Griff McGarry might be saying he the blister is too much right now. He gives way to Brandon Neek, who, when that third walk in a row was issued, that's when Neek started to get loose. So he, he's got as many tosses as he needs. And he's been dynamite out of the bullpen this year. Look at up in the zone, not something that's down that you could hit a ground ball. Yeah. Ransom strikes out. Old Dominion has brought the juice. Tenth pitch of the plate appearance. He's down low and he walks in a run. Two days in a row that Old Dominion has worked a bases loaded walk inning for Old Dominion. 2-2. Two -two. Battle cuts and misses. Oh, Brandon Neek dug deep, Gabby Sanchez. Oh, boy, did he, and he uses the fastball. And he's been mighty good. Tap it, pops it up, and Galliardi catches it and turns it into two. Oh boy. It's time to end the third against Tommy Gertner, the ODU starter. Runners off, and Galliardi's throw sails. Nice job by Trice preventing that from center. Two on, two out, fifth inning, two run game. Todd Zansky deals. On the ground, right side. Trice stabs it. Goes away. Three one, Geloff hits it high and deep, but in the left center. Wheeler's there, inning over. Virginia has to settle for one. Dobzanski leaves him loaded. Neek ready with a big one two. Snapped it off. Strike three called. He struck out three. Worked it around a walk in the fifth. Thing to put Old Dominion ahead of South Carolina. 
And he strikes out here. So 15 out of 17 outs for Virginia pitchers are strikeouts. This is the top of the Old Dominion lineup, starting with Kyle Battle. 0 for 3, three strikeouts. And a ground ball, a sliding play by Kent. And the throw is in time. Heck of a play by Kent. Up. There's a sword, but it gets past Michaels. And a runner's on for ODU. Drop third strike, places Lavari at first. This regional. <laughs> no. For us, it seems like every single game has been a nail biter. This is tagged to right. Diving play not made out there by Teal. Kicks behind him into the gap. Lavari to third and stopping there. Now the throw gets away, but backed up. And the tying run will come to the plate. Has never had this many strikeouts. Does he have another? One, two. Yes, he does. Two down. One, two pitch. He struck him out. Ten strikeouts in relief for Brandon Neek. Wow. Started right at the hip, down, let it go down off the plate. He stuck with the fastball, on the ground to short, Bell, in time. Old Dominion down by three, coming up. Galliardi's fan twice. Three times. Five outs away from a game seven. He got another. Seventh before that. 12 strikeouts in relief. 13! Are you kidding me? Hit hard off the glove of Bell. Oh, there have been some near misses for oh. Bell at shortstop today where he's been so close. Bouncer left side, Lavari fields it fair on the run. Tough play, picked out but off the bag. Two on for the Cavaliers. Rodriguez is one, two. On the ground, left side. Bell this time has a tough hop on him, and they are loaded. Oh, that's just an unfortunate hop. In the air, drops in for a hit. Kent scores, tap into the plate. Two runs in. That is a huge hit by Logan Michaels. No, the opposite way into left and battles there, inning over. Two more for Virginia. Old Dominion down five. Griff McGarry and Brandon Neek, and they've combined for an NCAA Virginia postseason record, 21 strikeouts. Well, how about the here and now on June 6th <laughs> in the regionals? He's got another. This is 14 for Neek in relief today. 2-2. Strike three called. Oh, come on now. 15 Ks. One, two. Sweet 16. You what might see no hitters. You, you, you might see no hitters, Gabby. You might see perfect games. This is right up there with that, if you ask me. Oh, absolutely. What a performance by Brandon Neek. An unsung hero in this five and two thirds, three hits, 16 strikeouts. It, when you need a guy to come out and give you something that has never happened before, Brandon Neek steps up 
and delivers a beautiful pitching performance. Wow. 